Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with the second part of the video. This is like a bonus video. So again, happy birthday to each and every one of you all. In the first part of the video, this is the second part. <clears throat> so if you're seeing this first, go back and watch the first video that is dated March 31st um, through April the 30th. This is the second part of the video. So I'm going to give you a chance to pause this and go back and watch the first one because then this one's going to make sense. So we're finishing up what I was telling you before. Whereas if there's something, there's some kind of an inside job where someone is practicing some kind of bad witchcraft on somebody. And again, this is a different camera. So hopefully the sound quality is okay because the battery ran out on the other one. So I'm letting that charge while I'm telling you all this. So if you got to put on earplugs, you know, you know, please don't attack the messenger. Well, I can't hear as well as I did on the other one. This is a different camera. I'm trying to get a message through to you all. Again, this is a birthday bonus video, okay? All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. What I was explaining to you all in the first video, kind of sort of as a recap, that it looks like somebody's adult kids and maybe mom or grandmother was trying to tell you about some people that still have access to you. It's kind of like... Even if you don't have kids, even if you don't have adult kids, you know how it's kind of like, you know, you're, when you were bringing, when you were like, most of the time people start bringing their friends home at high school or whatever, and your parents are telling you don't trust that when that's not really your friend. That's the energy that's surrounding you right now. It's like, not for you to be paranoid, Aries, because Source is really trying to send a lot of incoming information your way that's going to help make you very wealthy. So if you're consumed with a sense that you need to be nurtured by information, Source should be your first go-to for information. So that's going to require some isolation. It's going to require some time alone away from the people that have access to you right now. That's going to be some quality time, which is you and source. Because as light workers, we're telling you, you know, what, we, what I'm telling you what I see in the cards. But I want this to be very specific to your situation, especially if you feel like there's like something slowing your money up in your business. There's a lot of money in the first set of cards. You all, if you watch the first video, there's a lot of money in your cards. And money is not just, it's income. It's incoming of resources, right? And so resources could also be information. It could be, you know, whether it's coming through a dream, whether it's coming from other per people, places, and things, right? But the first resource you want is directly from source. And so when we saw the tower card in the first spread of cards, um, Aries, that was source saying, I need you to get away from all of this download of information that's getting you fired up and exhausted about stuff. We are in your birthday month. So if there's, if your adult kids or your parents told you about something and you're getting fired up about something that's no longer a part of your universe, maybe somebody cut you off or maybe you had to cut some people out of your life and they're no longer a part. They are not practicing bad witchcraft on you. But the people that's still in your circle, there's a Judas in somebody's circle. It could be a couple of Judas because they see money all over you. They either you're inheriting something, your business is doing well, you're on a come up. Something is happening where they want access to that. So they're providing some kind of a false nurturing for you. Remember, if you don't feel nurtured by people you wanted to feel, like maybe you don't feel nurtured because maybe your mom is no longer here and you feel this real strong pull on, I wish I was nurtured more. Or maybe you don't have the best relationship with your adult kids. I wish my adult kids would do such... The people that's in your circle right now, and if you don't have adult kids and it's still something like nurturing, needs for some kind of nurturing somewhere, Source can get the information to you, Aries, in ways that nobody else can. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. So Source wants you to back up for a minute, back up from everything so you can be in a quiet space to receive information. And don't be afraid to say, Source... Explain it to me in a way like meet me where I am. If I'm here in this frequency right here and I'm drained and exhausted and I'm mad and frustrated, meet me here. Let it come through a movie. Let it come through a song. Let it come through a complete stranger that don't even know anything about what's going on in my life. I need to know what is blocking my money. Who has access to me right now that's blocking my money? 
Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. We have the Hierophant card. We have the Emperor card. We have the Page of Swords and also the Ten of Wands. Who is blocking my money? Because people who have cut you out of their life or you've had to cut out of your life, they don't have access to your money anyway. So they're not blocking anything. But if it's people in your life right now, ask God to expose them. Ask God to expose them. Your ancestors will help you to expose them. But you to, after that, you got to be the person that decides I'm moving on from it. I'm moving on from it. Because one source exposed to you who is in your inner circle and you don't move, you don't make a move on it, you're blocking your own money. And source is trying to send new money across somebody's path. This is like new money, not just in a, a small check or something like that or just a little bit, a few coins or whatever. Source is trying to send new money across your path. Somebody could also be moving, physically moving, right? But the anxiety is going to go away very, very soon once God starts exposing people around you and you take action to move as far, get as far away from them as possible. Here we have, this is your card, the emperor card. This is source saying to you, get structured and become more authoritative. You're in a higher spiritual journey right now. You're in a higher spiritual journey. Who has access to you right now that you need to toss the name and everything into a burning bowl? Even if... You know, even if, because that, that's a lot of anxiety, especially if you're not ready to close out cycles. There could be a Taurus in somebody's life, too. That source is saying you need to go ahead and release them. Now, if you have a great relationship with the Taurus, you know, obviously I'm not talking to you. This is a general reading. But somebody from the inside, um, somebody has been trying to tell you not to trust. Some, it can even be another Aries. This is Aries. This is Taurus. Somebody from the inside... Has somebody who had access to you was like, Aries, you need to cut so-and-so off, but somebody wasn't ready to cut them off. So again, they could be practicing something to have something to do with getting your money. So that income is incoming information from them. And source is like, no, I need you to listen directly to source, not them. I need you to tune everybody out. Like, you know, one of the things you can do, you know, when you're going to bed and it's just you, is say, source, come in my dreams. Come in my dreams. Show it to me in a dream. Who is it? I don't care who it is. And if I'm too afraid or I'm still confused, give me an exodus strategy out of it. Let them cut me off. Let them leave my life. Because it's not somebody from the outside who could have already left. Nobody's, nobody's sending any negative energy to somebody that's not a part of your life. Even if they were angry with you, they're not sending. I'm telling you, it's, it, them, they gone on with their life. It's somebody from the inside. See how it is? Somebody is connected to you from the inside. There's some feelings and some emotions about it. So you may make them move or you may move. But I see you, somebody, packing up somewhere and moving on with something. So, here we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and also the Ace of Swords. So, somebody's going to have some kind of breakthrough, but you got to be the person to be in receiving mode, meaning... God, send me the information, and I'll be in receiving mode, even if I'm, you know, if I'm sleeping. Let it come to me in a dream. But somebody may be asking somebody to move out. Move out, or you may be moving on from something. Because, again, somebody is saying, I, I need to move on from something. Because at, at a lower frequency, this is temptation. That's what the enemy wants you at a lower frequency. You're in your feelings about everything. I don't know who I can trust and who. And so that will make you that will make you believe anything you hear. But I'm telling you, before you even schedule an appointment with me, or I can't tell you who not to schedule an appointment with. Matter of fact, don't schedule an appointment with me. Schedule an appointment with God. <laughs> I'm not your God. I'm only just telling you what I'm seeing. Go straight to source. God, who is it? Because I'm telling you, it's nobody outside of your circle. It's somebody that's connected to you. And so Source is trying to make somebody double booked and busy, not double burdened and bitter. It's somebody that you still have access to that you just could not sever ties with them for some reason. One minute they're inspiring you, the next minute they're burning you out. 
They're frustrating you. Four of Cups. Somebody's sitting around ruminating over it. Yeah, Aries, do not schedule an appointment with me when it, as, it re, as it pertains to this reading because I really want you all to strengthen your, you know, your relationship with Source, like really being able to hear what Source is trying to tell you because um, something in your circle is blocking your money. It's a relative, somebody that's connected to you that you haven't completely cut off. Again, we're not talking about old business relative old business relationships that could have cut you off not talking to you anymore don't want to deal with you anymore we're not talking about them because they're not sending any negative energy your way it's some this is from the inside seven of cups and i don't know if the camera cut off before i was telling you all a story about um how you know you may see things on the news or whatever like fine department stores or whatever getting broken into you like how in the world did that store get broken into when you see cameras everywhere. You got armed security, all of this other stuff. But then, all of a sudden, you have this major break-in. It had to be broken in from the inside, inside job. That's what I've been seeing all over your cars. It's some kind of an inside job. But here we have the Queen of Cups. I see you have compassion for people, but either you're moving on from them or they're moving on from you. Some kind of moving on is happening because Source is trying to... It's not like source is forcing somebody to be booked and busy. It's like something that you ask God for. You're like, you know, I want my business to do well. I want to see all of this money. But you got to be in receiving mode of information. So that's incoming um, information about your resources and not just the resource of money, coin, you know, paper, coin, paper coins, great credit score. This is incoming information from source first and foremost. So here we have the queen of wands. I see after you've moved on from something, moved on from the thought that somebody who is no longer attached to you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, like somebody's not speaking to you, even if they're mad at you and they're not speaking to you, they're not, they're not sending negative, bad energy your way. They moved on with their lives. They found out what nurtures them. We're talking about somebody from the inside. So I see that when you move on from something, because again, somebody's on the higher, somebody's looking at it from a higher mind and innate spiritual understanding, and you have compassion for the situation, you're like, oh, okay, okay, something big must be coming my way. And so some people want to stay attached to that. Because they do. Here we have the chariot card, we have the seven of wands, we have the knight of wands, we have the three of pentacles, we have the queen of swords, we have the moon card. So something from your past is trying to rear its ugly head. Something where you may have felt like some, something exhausted you. And it could have been several energies. And so the people that have access to you right now, source is going to expose them. It's going to expose their motives. But it's also what's going to be exposed to you. That's where the breakthrough is going to come through. Um, source is going to... Uh, Hmm. Source is not only exposing people, people's motives that's currently in that still have access to you. Source is also going to expose the motives of people that no longer have access to you. And it's going to be a surprise to some people that people that don't have access to you, they've gone on about their lives. They're not wishing anything harmful on you whatsoever. And so I do see you being victorious at, at a higher frequency, a higher spiritual level, seeing all of it, like an expanded view. So I do see, um, I do see uh, your efforts being rewarded. I do see victory for you. I do see you being booked and busy, but also physically moving on from something. I do see you staying, you know, like whatever you may have thought that could have, because this is this. When I'm looking at here with all of this, the first um, first spread of cards we looked at the five of uh, five of wands, which could be real, really confusing for somebody. Like I don't really know who to believe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you know. I keep getting baited into stuff, and I'm not sure what's what's all the confusion about. But somebody is going to physically get as far away from allowing thoughts about people that's on the outside of your universe to drain you. And now the attention is going to be turned inward because, again, these energies still have access to you. Here we have the seven of wands. So somebody's going to have to really sit down and meditate and be in receiving mode of what source is telling you. We also have the three of pentacles, perfect alignment. When it comes to 
receiving information. So everything is perfectly aligned. So source is going to be sharing information with you about things. And so you'll be carefully vetting everything that comes through. You're deciding what you're going to give thought to. Sword energy is air energy. So somebody's going to be carefully giving some um you know, some some energy to thought about things. Again, this is the second part of your reading. Second part of your reading. Hmm, 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 hmm. Also, somebody could be getting um, some kind of increase in terms of your money, whether your business is increasing, I see double booked and busy, or that you're in a leadership position. Um, you're now in a leadership position where you have more duties and responsibilities. So, um, so source is trying to help you to not keep revisiting the past that was overwhelming you, but also to ask, to show you that there's people in your life right now. Some of those people could have ulterior motives. Some of those people could have ulterior motives. So stay focused. Strength card. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and also the Ten of Pentacles. See a lot of money because again, there's legacy. So somebody could have inherited something. Something having to do with a lot of money and having to do with your legacy being attached. So you'd be surprised. And this is what I said before. And again, if you don't have any siblings or you have great relationships with your siblings, this will not apply to you, right? But somebody could have had some, um, there could have been some other t different, like really strange relationships with siblings and they see something all over you. Maybe you, you paid off your house and you know maybe they are trying to get you to sign your house over like people do all kinds of treacherous things when it comes to money but people who are already outside of your universe they don't they either they like i say either they cut you off or you cut them off they don't want your house they don't want your money they don't need you to leave anything to them there is no motive these are people who are still connected to you in some way shape form or fashion once God exposes them and you move on from them, it's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted for somebody. That's where the celebration is going to come in. Like, wow, okay, now it's starting to come together and now it's starting to make sense, right? So, but right now there's a real temptation. People keep trying to send you back to the past. And part of it is because we're in this very nurturing, like super nurturing moon, this moon phase. So here we have the Ten of Swords and also the Five of Swords. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, oh, boy. We also have the strength card. So source needs somebody to stay laser focused, you know, on your purpose here on earth. What is your purpose? What is your purpose? This is the number eight. This is the money exchange number. It's not about just paper and coins. This is about somebody keeps looking back at their past. I hope this is clear to somebody. Somebody keeps looking back at their past when somebody has already walked out of your life, they've already cut you off, they've already moved on from something. And the people that are in your life right now, is keep, they're keeping you distracted by replaying that over and over and over again, when it's not the people that's outside of your, your, um, your um, universe that's using any kind of devil worship or witchcraft or anything to harm you. They're, sending, they're not sending any bad energy your way because they've already moved on. They would have thrown their swords down. They recognize they have their power. Their power was within. They had. They were strong enough to say, I need to walk away from this because you'll find out that some of the people that's in your circle are the one, the real villains. They're the ones that's doing it from the inside. And so they will be the ones. And you got this out of the mud, Aries. You worked very hard. So somebody should be very proud of how hard you worked to earn whatever it is. These could be friendships that's still connected to you that got you thinking, oh, and when you start saying, well, business isn't doing well and things aren't doing well, they could be saying, oh, remember you're no longer friends with so-and-so? Well, I heard they were practicing, you know, witchcraft. Educate yourself about witchcraft, good and bad, right? The people from the outside, they don't, for them, they're like, I moved on. I moved on. But somebody is keeping people in their lives. Like this Ten of Swords card looks very different than you see a lot of the Ten of Swords card. Somebody's afraid to cut these people off because they feel like they're going to be by themselves. So that's what I'm saying to you. Talk to Source. You know, as much as I like talking to you all and I, and I hear from a lot of Aries, I have a lot of, you know, Aries clients. This time, I want you to save your money and go directly to God for real because this is inside. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. Go directly to source. Go directly to source. That doesn't that doesn't mean I'm gonna not call you on your birthday or not send you a text on your birthday and say, Hey, happy birthday to you, Aries. But seriously, go directly to source. I really want to encourage you all to go to source first. 
before because I know a lot of people watch a lot of different channels and they're like, oh my God, I wonder who is it. It can get you paranoid and tower cars and all kinds of stressed out and all. I don't want you to get stressed out. I don't want you to, you can spend your money with whomever you want to. I'm just trying to encourage you. And now as much as I would love to talk to you, again, go directly to source. I would love to talk to you all, but listen, go directly to source. Save your money. It's better for you to get it directly from source because source will know just what to send, what information to send you in a dream. It's all of that stuff, all of it. So you're like, oh my God, OMG, OMG. Let's get ready to close it out. Again, this is part two of your reading. This is a birthday bonus reading. Go directly to source so that you can start training yourself to hear directly from source. And so if, even if you're nervous about cutting a lot of people out of your life that still has access to you right now because I'm going to be by myself and nobody's talking to me because they played on your mind every kind of way they could because they see this, they see this legacy wealth right here. They see a lot of wealth on you. You know, business doing well. Lots of duties and responsibilities in your leadership position. They just see money all over you. And they're trying to, they want a piece of it. Affirmations for success. Get ready to be successful in every area of your life. And that's why some people who are connected to you, I just, uh, you know what? Aries. And you all know how I feel about Aries. I really want you all to get this. Like, I really, please don't be, we have almost 9 billion people on this planet. There have been some people, some good people that have walked out of you all's lives because you all are just keep, you give, keep giving some people chance after chance after chance until that blowtorch come out. But Source, is, Source really wants somebody to be wealthy. I mean, like, really, really wants somebody to be wealthy. So, here we go. Affirmations for success. You can, you can say this to yourself. I am attracting everything I need, including answers. I added the including answers about who in your circle right now, who has access to you. The second one is I am fully, I am, I am full of highly profitable ideas. Third one is I am grounded. Fourth is I am connected to my highest calling. Fifth is I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. Six, what's for me will always be for me. Seven, I am committed to my purpose. Eight, I am making necessary connections. Nine, I am connected to all that supports my highest good. You all are givers. Somebody has some takers in their circle. I don't know who the takers are because there's a lot of information out here. And again, this is a general reading. And I'd have to talk to you personally to know exactly who it is. But I don't want, let me, let me say I don't want to talk to you. Of course, I want to talk to you all. But I, I, I want you all to talk to Source. Let me just put it that way. I want you all to go directly to Source so that you can take some time to really sit back on your throne and carefully. This is work right here. For you to get on your throne to carefully vet every single person that has access to your life right now. Like right now because there's too much money at stake. And y'all know, I don't even have to say it, how crazy. Y'all have watched the soap operas. They have... Um, you know how crazy people get. And if you haven't watched the soap operas, a lot of you all have read the Bible and see how treacherous people can get when it comes to money. So pay attention, Aries. That is what I have for you. I will see you all on Sunday. Again, this is the second part. Um, and you already know this. This is a bonus birthday video. If the sound quality isn't that great, it's a different camera. Just because, like I said, don't attack the messenger because I don't respond to negative energy. So anyway... That's what I have for you, um, and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.